West, and we are going to kick this thing off with the Arizona Cardinals. 5-10-1 last year. Not great. 7.5 is the win total this year. To go under is plus 100. To go over is minus 120. To win the division, plus 600. Kind of shorter odds than I anticipated. Uh, people seem to love this team this year, man. You you bring in Hopkins, all that. Kyler Murray, year two, he has got weapons. He's got guys to throw to. And you got Cliff Kingsbury going into his second season. Everybody trusts him offensively in the NFL. They looked okay last year. Like, they, they were in some tight games. They stayed within one score of the Ravens, the Rams, the Bucks. They had two close games with the 49ers. I mean, they were right there. And now... You can always say, well, the NFL, you're, it's always going to be tough games because everybody's a pro. That's what you do. Uh, and they, they lost more than they won, a lot more. But, you know, 5-10-1, not bad for the first season. Going through uh, the stats here, offensive yards per play, 5.5. That was number 17. Defensive yards per play, that's where they had problems. 6.0, that was number 28 in the league. Turnover margin, that is a bit of an issue. Gave up .1 turnovers per game. That's number 19 in the league. Uh Defense brings in Isaiah Simmons, you know, but he's a rookie. It, it's going to take a little bit of time. You you still got Patrick Peterson. You you got a decent secondary. Defensive line doesn't scare me at all. Uh, it's a revamped roster. Kingsbury, I think, is still learning. Kyler Murray in his second season is this a is this a sophomore slump or is this a year where he kind of breaks out even more than he did last year after winning offensive MVP or a uh, uh, rookie offensive MVP? I, you know, I don't know. I. I've got them at seven and nine. Um, I think they're going to go under that seven and a half. I think this is just a really tough division for them to be able to find wins, and and I don't trust Kingsbury just yet. Like, tell me, tell me if I'm wrong here. I don't trust Kingsbury at all. I don't know. I don't know why anybody would. He never, you know, he never was great in college. So I don't know why he would be great in the NFL. That didn't make any sense to me. But but he's pretty and he looks nice and he's easy to talk to and you know he sounds really smart. Okay. That sounds fine. Um, I I think they're going to be six and ten, seven and nine. I think seven and nine is their ceiling. They're still not really good on defense. And you put Isaiah Simmons in there. Isaiah Simmons is the kind of guy that I wanted to see go to a defensive mastermind. All right. Yes. I wanted to see him go somewhere who likes utility football players on the defensive side of the ball and are going to move him all over the place and be chaotic and crazy and a fun defense. Arizona is anything but that. Okay. I, I just this is this is a bad marriage, a bad fit. Patrick Peterson, I worship the guy. He's he's the best cover corner to ever come out of LSU so far, and he's had an amazing career. He's getting old, and in the NFL, cornerbacks fall off a cliff at some point in time. Wide receivers are just too big, too fast, and and I don't know that he can keep going. Um, is he going to be fine? Is he going to be serviceable? Yes. Is he going to be great? No. It's just, just, just age. It's just part of it. The receivers keep getting younger and more athletic, and you just get older every year. And then offensively, I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to put up points against most people. But in the NFL, if you can't find a way to stop people, it doesn't work. It didn't work really well at Texas Tech, and it's not going to work here. Yeah. Uh, it, now, I, question for you. Vance Joseph was a really good defensive coordinator once upon a time. And and in Arizona, he's just kind of fallen off. Is this a you don't there's have just the no players? talent there? Yeah, there's just, no, there's just no talent. They all of the guys that they've gone out and traded for or tried to bring in are all old. Yeah, and this is a, this is a, like if if you had all of these guys at Arizona right now in their prime, that would be a badass defense. But you don't. You got them all on their second or third contract. Congratulations. Yeah, so they, they've they've lost luck. that first step. It, yeah, people, guess what people do? They leave the Midwest and they leave the Northeast for Arizona to retire. That's <laughs> that's what happens. That's a, that's a valid point. You got a bunch valid of geriatrics point. on the defense, and you bring this kid in who's just an absolute freak in Isaiah Simmons, and you say, here, play, play canasta with these old bastards. Uh, Matt Miller said, best division in football, NFC West. Uh, I disagree, but I, okay. I don't I – don't, Know that I agree there. I I mean I I agree with you. Probably probably not the best. Um, it's a really good division. Very competitive. It's good. It's good. It's fine. Yeah. It's good. Uh, he said. Uh, I think as Chris always says, you're a moron if you don't sprinkle a little money on Kyler Murray MVP. Uh, maybe. I mean, he he can I, I be exciting. I mean, with 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 Cliff, like I don't think offense is ever going to really be a problem with Cliff Kingsbury. Like it, the only problem it will be is they might get off the field a little too quickly. And that defense, because it is not built uh, correctly just yet, that could be that could be a problem. 
So McKinnon jumps in. He said, I'm more excited for Arizona than any other NFC East team uh, to see how it begins to pan out. Uh, I think he meant NFC West. Uh, Murray could be something special, especially in Kingsbury, uh, Kingsbury's offense. But again, I'm not sure how to think about him. Either way, it'll be damn fun to watch. Uh, they will said, be fun to watch. They will. Uh, and McKinnon, that's fine. McKinnon said NFC South is by far the best division right now. Yes. I mean, Tampa Bay, New Orleans, I, I just Carolina, think it's, it's, it's top heavy, but with the Bucks and the Saints, we're going to have, have, have just absolute explosion. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I, you might I right. think that I don't think the, the Falcons and the Panthers are good, but, but I think the, the, we don't have two teams at the elite level of what I think the Bucks and Saints will be. I, I have both of those teams over 12 wins are, are, are at 12 or over our 11 wins or more. Like there's no other division that has that. That's a good point. Good point. Good point. All I'm, right. I'm looking, I'm looking for some MVP odds. See, you say Kyler Murray, but Kyler Murray, I mean, those are kind of short odds. It's plus 1400. You know, that's, that's not great. Lamar and, and Dak are plus a thousand plus 1200. So he's kind of a favorite. If, if I was going to, you're talking about long shot MVP odds, Cam Newton, you can get plus 2,500 Deshaun Watson. You can get plus 2,500 drew Brees, You can get plus 2,500. I'd, I'd throw that 1400 in the garbage. Hey, what, what, what's Brady at right now? Thomas is, he's not, I mean, you, you terrible odds, 1200. Oh, okay. That's, I, I was curious because he's getting but, older. But you, but but Breeze, if Breeze has his farewell season and the Saints are amazing this year, Breeze has never won an MVP. I don't think I I could see them giving it to him if if it's close. I think he gets the nod. Um, Watson, if he takes this team after they got rid of Hopkins, I I think everybody in the sports media would love if they win that division. He's great. Um, and then Cam coming back taking over after Tom, filling those shoes. If they win 10 games and win that division, I, I think Cam Newton has a, has a real shot at getting it, and you can make good money on those guys. Matt Miller jumps in on YouTube, said, uh, fine, the NFC West is the deepest. I don't see a bad team in the no, NFC you're right. West. I'll agree with that. Uh, I'll agree yeah. with that. I think the Arizona Cardinals is the only team that finishes below 500. Uh, he said, I uh, will agree they don't have a doormat. He, he asked this. He said, what are Drew Locke's MVP odds? That's that's a fool's errand, but I'll tell you. Hang on, Jesus, that's just not smart. Well, I, hey, I mean, I, I don't think it's a terrible idea. The uh, same as Cam Newton and Drew Brees and Sean Watson plus twenty five hundred. Yeah, see, that's that's they better be. They got to be a hell of a lot more than that for me to touch it. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, it, it's got to be Joe 3, Burrow is sixty six hundred. All right, I would rather I would rather have Joe Burrow and Daniel Jones at sixty six hundred than Drew Locke at the same as. Watson, River, uh, Ben, or uh, or uh, 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 Cam. Yeah, I think I agree. I think I agree. All right, let's uh, let's move on. Let's go to the next team. We still got three teams left in this division. Next one up, the Los Angeles Rams, nine and seven.